Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Unroot Linux box from CyberSec Labs. And let's jump into it. So first we're going to do our nmap scan, scan all ports. And we'll see that we have two ports open. Port 22, which is SSH, and we have port 80 open, which is HTTP. So port 22 uh, is not something you want to look at at the beginning. Uh, that's something you want to look at once you have credentials. Some versions of SSH are vulnerable, but uh, it's probably the best if you first start with other ports such as port 80. So let's take a look at that. So going to the IP here, we see we have a PHP myadmin login page. Uh, and before we go and look at uh, further at that, we're always going to want to start some um, some recon in the background, some some passive recon. So we're going to do a, a go buster for a directory. We're going to specify our word lists. And I like to use big from deer buster, then specify the URL. I also like to put in extensions. I always like to add TXT and PHP uh, if the server is running PHP, which in this case, let's see if we do index.php, it works. So the server is running PHP. And then I have an out directory to where I can put the output. So well, while you would be running that, you would do some rec recon here, see if you can do admin, admin, but that's not going to work in this case. And then by the time you're done, your go whistler will also be done and we can then take a look at the output. So if I take a look at the output here, that's uh, not really what I expected as output. But well, if you run this, you will find a certain directory. I must have messed up my command earlier, but that's fine. So you would have found the dev directory. And if you look at that, you see we have this info.php file, which shows the PHP info command, but we also have this ping test.php file where we can ping a host. So let's try and ping ourselves. And we see, okay, it runs a ping and it pings something. Now the question is what command is actually running in the background. So if we, if you take that here, so most likely they're running ping and then input, right? So, but what if they would be, what if we input something nothing, then a semicolon, and then ID. Is it going to run our ID command? So let's test that out. So if we input, input that, and then ID, we see that yes, it does run our ID command. So we have uh, a code injection here. So now, we, now that we have code injection, we can try to get a reverse shell. And for that, we're going to hop over to our pen test monkey reverse shell cheat sheet. And let's see, can we do a bash reverse shell? We can try that. Uh, we're gonna do 10.10.0.8. Let's pick port 1234. Semicolon to start, and then let's also listen for this. So netcat dash lnvp. I'm also gonna rl wrap this, and then specify port 1234. So now we're listening on that port. Let's run this, and that didn't work. So let's move on. Let's then see if we can use, for example, Python maybe. But let's first see if we have a Python version that runs on this. So Python v doesn't return anything. Python 3, 3 v doesn't return anything either. So we probably don't have Python on the server, but we most likely have PHP on the server since we're already running PHP code here. So PHP dash version, uh, proceed that by a semicolon. And we see, okay, we can run PHP code here. So then we can maybe run this PHP Oh, that's not PHP, this PHP reverse shell. So let's quickly modify this here. So we're going to change our IP to be 10.10.0.8. The port is already correct. So we can copy that, paste the reverse shell in here, proceed it by a semicolon, and run that. And we'll see, yes, that connects fine. So now I have an SH shell, but I'm going to kill that immediately. And I'm going to see if we can change this to a bash shell. So changing bin SH to bin bash. Copy that again. Semicolon, paste it in and run it again. Oh, we forgot to put our listener on. So semicolon, paste that, run it. And we see, okay, we get a, we get a bash shell here. And now we are Joe. Uh, so now you probably want to do some enumeration, maybe run within piece, run stuff like that. And you will for sure during your enumeration come across sudo dash 
L. What well, this is going to show every permis permission that we have on sudo, and we see that we can run uh, any command without password as any user but root. And now something to note here: when you see this not root in in your sudo dash l output, you always want to check your sudo version. See, okay, it's 1.8, and then once you have that, you can start looking for some CVEs for that because this not rooting is something that's vulnerable. So here we can see an exploit for 1.8.27, uh, which is close to our version. So let's take a look at this. And we see that here they also have this. Uh, yeah, they have sudo version below this. Oh, sudo version below 1.2.28, but I think that's a that's a typo on their end. Because in the title it says 1.8. Uh, but we'll take a look at this either way. Oh, the, the bug is fixed in 1.8.28. So I think it's still the case in our version. So it seems like if they do sudo and then dash u, hashtag minus 1 and then bin bash, that's going to work for them. So let's take a look at that. sudo dash u minus 1 and then bin bash and now we have a shell as root now why does this work uh, first of all how does this even work so we're going to run the sudo command and then dash u is for the user and then we're going to specify hashtag minus one as the user here now what does that mean well if you go to the sudo man page you can see here that you can do my dash u for the username and then hashtag and then a UID. So we're running this command with the UI. So if we run, um, let's quickly get the shell back here. Um, do I still have it open here? Yes, I do. Copy that. Listening. Okay, so if I do a uh, cat slash etsy slash um, pass wd we can see the uid of every user so for example the user joe has a uid of a thousand and we know it is that root has a uid of zero so if i were to do um, sudo dash u and then a thousand then we see okay we run this command as joe if i do a sudo dash u however of zero we'll see we don't have permission for that uh, or it's or it would have to ask for a for a password, but we can't do that. Um, but what? Why is this vulnerable? The the my dash u hashtag minus one. Well, that's an issue within sudo itself, and and you can go and research that further if you want. But it's it's kind of complicated. But this this minus u one, the the sudo program would say, okay, that's not a valid UID, so I'm going to pass that. I'm I'm not going to do anything with it. And sudo automatically runs with the root per permissions, right? Because if you um, ls dash, dash la slash bin, so where is sudo? Uh, locate sudo. That was not a good command. Um, where is sudo? User bin sudo. Okay. So if we do an ls dash l a on sudo we see that it has a set uid bit set which means that the sudo will be run as its owner so we will run it as root so in this command where we have the the minus one we will run sudo as root and sudo is going to say hey minus one that's not a valid U, uh, uid so i'm just going to keep my current uid but when it checks permissions, it's still going to use this minus one. It's not going to say, oh, you can't run this as root. So it's still going to execute bin bash as root. Uh, I hope that explanation kind of made sense. Obviously, you can go and dig into it deeper. Um, the CVE here, uh, this is a CVE. So if you Google that, you can go deeper into the code. You can even read the, the fix that uh, that was made to, to fix this bug and, and go deeper. But I hope hopefully I give you kind of an understanding of how this works. And, and why this vulnerability is existent. 
Um, so that's something to to take into account when you whenever you run sudo l and you see this this uh, not root, you will always want to check the sudo version to see if it's vulnerable to that vulnerability. So that was this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back with another video. Take care.